This video highlights a few key tips to scanning efficiency that will support your full mouth scanning protocol. The Itero Element Intraoral Scanner allows me to scan in a continuous motion to capture a full mouth scan in as little as one minute. I always rest the wand tip gently on the patient's teeth. I never hover. I only need to press and release one of the side buttons to start and stop the scanner. I keep the scanner on while I scan an entire arch. When I'm scanning the occlusal surface, I am careful to orient the cable end of the wand away from the patient and bring it straight out of the patient's mouth without twisting or turning the wand. As I scan, I will bring the wand around the arch, maintaining this orientation. In the occlusal scan, when I come to the anterior six teeth, I tip the cord end of the wand up to capture more surface area and lingual anatomy, rather than scanning only the incisal edges. When I transition to the lingual, I bring the cord end of the wand out to the side. Then in a smooth motion, I bring the wand around the arch, keeping the wand tip tilted towards and facing the anatomy I am scanning. I'm always careful to roll over the occlusal of the terminal tooth when I'm moving from the lingual to the buccal. This ensures that the model builds smoothly. While scanning the buccal surfaces, I orient the tip of the wand at a 45 degree angle to the buccal surface, with the cord end facing away from the patient. I follow the arch with the wand as I move toward the anterior. At the midline, I will remove the wand from the patient's mouth, place it on the occlusal of the contralateral terminal tooth, roll to the buckle, and follow the arch around to the midline. I use a rocking motion while scanning the buckle and a rolling motion while scanning the lingual to capture the interproximal surfaces, pointing the tip of the wand toward the anatomy I'm intending to capture. In the bite segment, I only need to capture three to four teeth and the upper and lower gingival tissue. I do not need to wait for the bite to attach to the digital model before moving to the contralateral side. While scanning, I focus on the model on the screen, so if it stops building, I can quickly go back to the last area that was captured. I use the wand tip to help retract the cheek, lips, and tongue. I use the fingers of my opposite hand for retraction and to guide the tip during scanning. While I'm scanning the buckle, I often switch hands when I reach the contralateral side. To capture clean incisal edges, I make sure not to rush my rollover scan of the lateral and incisor. I start on the incisal edge, roll to the lingual and slowly roll over the incisal to the facial. Additionally, I can glide over the incisal edges from first bicuspid to first bicuspid to capture additional incisal information. Marks to guide me to fill areas of missing anatomy. Missing anatomy alerted by the red and purple marks needs to be filled no matter how small an area. However, holes without red or purple do not need to be filled no matter how large. I use the broom tool to remove any unwanted structures from the digital model. I use the fill tool to fill persistent areas of missing anatomy. I always have fun when I'm scanning. No more goopy impressions.